all signs. Welcome to your weekly reading for the period of September 4th to September 10th. If it resonates, of course, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. Otherwise, let's get to the reading. We are starting with a Virgo. Virgo, you all need to take some time to chill out. <laughs> you really need to kind of have some downtime, have a retreat, take those vacation days. Um, you're working a little bit too much. Um, don't feel guilty about doing that. It's kind of necessary. You need it in order to have the energy and to recharge and to get back at things with renewed vigor, okay? And once you do that, you're probably going to be feeling better than you've ever felt. Um, we have the sun card here, which is about good health and radiant health. Also, your mental attitude is going to be different. You're going to be optimistic. You're going to feel like you can take anything on. You're going to be joyous. So it's all about kind of taking care of your physical, your spiritual, and mental health for this week. Next, we have Libras. You all are, um, you're dealing with a situation where you need to exert power, but you need to do it in a very kind of smooth and charming way so as not to offend or not to kind of piss people off or, you know, have people be upset. Um, and you're trying to do that very well. But the only problem is with the star card here in reverse, which is the card of Aquarius, if that resonates, and I feel like you're really starting to lose hope because the challenge is too great. Um, and you don't really think you can conquer it or you can kind of get people to do what you want them to do or get things to go the way that you kind of want them to. So you're going to have to kind of turn that attitude around. Um, make sure you have hope. Make sure you have faith and just keep on plowing through this week. Next, we have Scorpios. Scorpios, there's something going on in the home. I feel like it's home. It's family. Things are unsettling. People are arguing. Um, you know, values are misaligning. Maybe somebody feels neglected. Um, whatever it is, it's just it's not doing well in the home right now. And I think you are really trying to stay very centered. You're trying to be that person that keeps your emotions in check. Um, you're trying to be a mediator too. So you're trying to listen to what everybody has to say and kind of mediate arguments and kind of keep peace um, within your home for this week. Next, we have Sagittarius. Says, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's used to getting their way all the time. Um, and if they don't, they get upset or they act like a brat. Um, they're, they like to play, play, play. They don't like to work. I think you kind of have a different work ethic or you, maybe you're working a lot right now and you don't have time for this person and they keep on trying to put themselves in front of you. I think what ends up, hap ends up happening is you guys work out some kind of arrangement so that everybody can kind of be happy so they can work out. I feel like you're talking to this person and saying, Hey, I have a lot going on this week, but this has to be done. Maybe if I have time for you, I'll kind of let you know and working out some kind of arrangement of reciprocity you give me this time I give you this back or what have you so this person doesn't keep on kicking up their heels Capricorns this week you're there's some kind of loss you're very sad you're very sorrowful um could have been actually somebody passing although I believe that's for a small percentage of you but um you're very disappointed it could be yourself and somebody else who've gone separate ways for others of you it's feeling like a failure or a rejection or a setback of some sort so what you're kind of doing is you're really trying to restore balance this week and you're working very hard to do so um you're trying to come back from this so if it's something that fell apart or you know you were rejected I feel like you're trying to you know um trying to put it back together or trying to win somebody back or you know get your idea back out in front of somebody um it's just kind of going back and forth and considering different options and deciding how you can kind of go about doing that Next, we have uh, Aquariuses. Aquariuses, you all are having a very difficult time kind of moving out of something, um, which is weird because you guys really like change. But with the Death card in reverse here, which is this card of Scorpio, and you're kind of holding on to something that really isn't doing much for you anymore. Um, you're really reluctant to kind of let go of it. Uh, you keep on kind of going back, um, even, even though it's really not doing anything for you. You're just kind of holding on to it. And in addition to that, I feel like there's conversations going on where you're trying to um, convince this situation to, or convince somebody to stay in this situation or talking to someone so you can stay in this situation or whatever. But there's a lot of communications going back and forth. And I feel um, with those communications, it's trying, it's one party trying to talk the other party into um, something else by like reiterating and repeating things and, um, you know, going over and rehashing it over and over again. Not a really good energy. You probably want to try to move out of that if you possibly can this week. Next, we have Pisces. 
you all are very happy, okay? We have the Nine of Cups here. So, I mean, things really couldn't be better. Happy, content, fulfilled, all that good stuff. It's the wish card. So wishes are kind of um, coming through for you. A lot of success, maybe plans, um, things of that sort. But, I know there's always a but, right? Um, in order to keep this momentum up, you need to keep on working at it. Um, don't kind of get lazy. Don't get disorganized. Don't kind of get sloppy or anything in regards to that. Because if you do so, you're going to you're gonna lose this momentum and this success and what have you. So you really have to get very ordered and kind of keep it up in order for you to continue um, having that success for this week for you guys. Aries. You have the chariot card in the upright and the lover's card in reverse. So we have Cancer and we have Gemini here, if that resonates. Um, you all are very hell-bent and determined in regards to an outcome or a situation. Um, you're not going to kind of let anything stand in your way. You kind of have a goal um, and you're kind of seeing, you know, point A to point B, how it's going to happen. There's nothing that's going to be stopping you. You are going to have a very strong momentum as you are on this journey and you're not going to compromise with anybody. And I feel like that's actually straining a relationship or a connection that you have. Whatever this goal is, I feel as though um, there's somebody that you're connected to, whether it's a part partner, a friend, a family member, or what have you. And as I said, it's putting a strain on the relationship because maybe they're kind of feeling that you're doing what you want to do and they're kind of being put on the back burner or you're not available or you're not considering other things. Um, so just be careful that, um, you know, you're not uh, causing a relationship to kind of um, be affected by um, your vision of moving forward. Next, we have Tauruses. Tauruses, you have the Justice card in reverse, which is the card of Libra. Um, if that resonates, I'm getting, you're experiencing a lot, of, a lot of unfairness, a lot of blaming, a lot of criticizing kind of going on, people judging you um, unfairly for the most part. And I see you trying to defend yourself the best that you can. You're being an advocate for yourself. Um, it really trying to, you know, tell people, you know, this is how I am. You can say whatever you want about me I can't make everybody happy but this is me and this is how I am so you're trying to hold off people from kind of you know treating them fairly and kind of doing this stuff and you're really maintaining your position well so I would kind of keep on doing what you're doing in regards to the opposition this week next we have Gemini's Gemini's somebody keeps on coming back um, to resolve an issue, to talk about something they don't want to move forward they can't leave the past alone um, I don't know if they're trying to get closure or what that situation is. What is guiding them is actually their emotions or their emotions are off kilter. Um, they don't know what to do with the, these emotions that they have. Um, they may be jealous. They may be needing attention from you. They may need uh, validation from you or what have you. Um, and I feel like it's them that keeps on coming back and kind of picking at you because they're having emotionally, they're upset and they're thinking that the answers of the closure are within you rather than trying to figure out how they can move forward. Cancers, you this week are having um, a lot of problems in the home also. The home environment, something is wrong with it. It's not balanced. It's tense. It's awkward. It's unsettling. There's things going on. It's very unstable. And this is very upsetting to you because for you guys, home is where your heart is. So you could be very sad and very depressed, crying days on end, um, trying to figure out how you're going to, you know, alleviate this situation. I mean, like I said, home is your comfort zone. So and kind of getting your sad within your home, that's problematic. Um, hold on to your self-belief this week. I mean, this too shall pass. I know that sounds hokey, um, but it's true. You just have to kind of remain positive um, and hopefully things will right themselves. And lastly, we have Leah's. Leah's, I feel as though you are using everything you have available to you to make something happen. You have a wonderful creative vision. It's time for you to bring it to reality. Um, your focus is very, um, you know, laser sharp. You know what you're doing and you'll use anybody or anything to kind of have this sort of happen. Now, there is somebody in your perimeter who is not happy with this. Um, they tend to be kind of um, saying things that aren't very nice. They can't keep their emotions in check. They're really unpredictable. They attack you for no reason. Um, it could be that you're trying to manifest a new cycle with a loved one and this could be an, uh, a scorned ex or somebody of that sort. It could be something where it's a job and you have a, you 
know, jealous colleague or somebody just that, you know, wants to cut you down. So, I mean, obviously you guys are the kings of the jungle. You can overcome this. You can stay positive and kind of move through this energy. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, of course, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email. Otherwise, best of luck to you this week. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.